Yeah, I mean, think about how, like, the Warriors positioned the spokespeople for our team. You got Russell, who loves the Lord, Russell Okun, loves the Lord, and just a couple of coaches, you know, like, you know, on fire for Jesus. So, it's pretty, yeah, it's interesting how that's kind of turned out. Oh, um, tremendously encouraging. Tremendously encouraging. And in the NFL, you're able to have some deep fellowship with the players and mature, and, and have that type of fellowship with the coaching staff is tremendous because you spend so much time at work to have brothers that you can talk to is that's awesome. We do, man. We got guys, you know, the Bible talks about iron sharpens iron, so there's one man sharpening another. I mean, when you look at the guys that we have on this team that are sharpening each other, pushing each other, spurring each other, uh, helping to uplift and encourage and to exhort each other, uh, it's really special. And so when you look at really what we've been able to accomplish as a team and the way we've been able to do it, it's just really cool. And how can we I mean, I think uh, all of us are in a position where man, we were empty and we were broken yeah. and uh, we, we needed help and, and yeah. Jesus came into our life and so he's put us in the platform that, that we are today and we just want to leverage that platform and introduce other people to the real king. Well, first I'd like to say, man, it's, it's a privilege, truly uh, a privilege to be out here and uh, God's amazing. God's amazing, man. What better chance do we have out here to show the world who we are than in the Super Bowl? And uh, we've all been given a platform in that same way. Uh, it doesn't matter what you do, uh, whether you're reporting, uh, whether you're a football player, we're all privileged to be where we are and uh, to be able to give that back to God and give our gifts back to God. It's, uh, it's amazing. You know, in terms of my faith and having faith, it's, got, it's brought me a long way. I've been here for a very long time. It's time, uh, you know, just to, just to be here in front of all these people and to, to go against the odds and we're all doing that. Good. That's all good. That's not, that's not me. These brothers love the Lord, you know, and, uh, and ultimately, um, living for Christ is more important than anything else. And uh, when Jesus gives us, and the Bible says He gives us every spiritual blessing. Jesus gives us every spiritual blessing. And think about that. Any school, any, any championship, any fame, any acclaim. So, Ultimately, we like to use this platform on Super Bowl to tell people that Jesus is the greatest treasure that you could ever hope to have. And he's free! He's free, and it's not like if anybody in Jersey or the world would say, would you like to be on a Super Bowl team? Yes, that would be the answer. However... Would you like to? That lasts for a moment and it's over. I can't remember who won a Super Bowl three years ago. I'd have to think really hard now, you know, if I were to come up with a name. So, but Jesus never changes. I mean, I was telling another fellow, like, ultimately, when we won championships before, they came and went. I mean, I woke up the same person. And when I became a believer at the University of Southern California in 1998, Jesus changed my life forever, for eternity. And he changed my motives. He changed how I parent. He changed how I am as a husband. He, Jesus just continues who I am. He's the Lord of my life.